Hello guys and welcome back to yet another AMC video. And short sellers are the ones that seek to determine the outcome first. As you can see, they closed short bets worth $300 billion and positioned themselves neutral. Why? Let's sort things out. As you can see in this Bloomberg case, money managers have reduced their bearish bets by $300 billion and are now more in line with historical norms, releasing pent-up demand in the market. Just as the Federal Reserve prepares to implement a new, more moderate rate of interest rate increases, the economy experiences a downturn. Even though the Fed and Jerome Powell stated a few of weeks ago that the war is not over, you may be wondering, what are they doing right? If you are closing or covering short positions, what they are doing, are they buying the decline? As a result of the adjustment in positioning, a sizable portion of investors' equity holdings have moved closer to the long-term average. What it actually means if a few months ago, they were quite pessimistic about the middle of the first quarter of 2021. They are currently quite bullish. They are positioned exactly in the center. Investors are currently closer to neutral than they have been since the second quarter of last year, when the Federal Reserve accelerated its interest rate hikes. And this data and suggestion comes from JP Morgan Chase and Deutsche Bank, who are following the market extremely closely. For them, it's crucial for the market to stabilize and for more people to be trading. Because if people are not trading, not using their services, not borrowing, and not using leverage, there will be much less business for them, much fewer fees generated, much less revenue, and shareholders will not be pleased. However, don't become too bullish too quickly, because according to the same data that was provided, it will be difficult for equities to reach new highs right now. This is obviously quite concerning for Credit Suisse and, by extension, the success of the banking industry as a whole. Clearly, if significant banks like Credit Suisse begin to fail, it will be a repetition of 2008, when Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers collapsed, forcing the S and P 500 to plummet by 20 to 30 percent, in addition to its current decline. However, it is common knowledge that theater chains such as AMC thrive and prosper throughout economic downturns, especially when they have a solid retail base, and this is likely what will ultimately cause the squeeze. Today, though, we have seen the months to date. February box office receipts are currently on level with those of 2019. This indicates that AMC has fully recovered from the pandemic and is producing comparable streaming numbers. But what's truly astounding is that the box office sector is currently making the same amount of dollars as it did in 2019, despite there being roughly half as many film releases. In 1994, films released with an average box office gross of $1 million were considered successful. However, just 67 films have been released as of this moment. However, with an average revenue of $1.5 million, this is greater than in 2022 and 2021, and more than ever before. This is why. Current market and S and P500 search mood has shifted significantly since the middle of October. Currently, it appears that the stock may struggle to achieve higher prices. Irregardless, sue the button is the button pressed in or out. This is a subject on which no one can genuinely agree. Aside from the systematic funds that have been obliged to increase their exposure, no other funds have been required to increase their exposure. If another market declines, the vast majority of managers will maintain a cautious stance. Given the hawkish monetary authorities, in the meantime, German power may become liquid to, who knows, possibly three extra 25 basis point rate hikes, which is not a major development. This rate increase could be the second of two before we observe the pulse. We are all aware that the market requires time to adjust to these rate increases. There will be a limited window of opportunity for consumers to capitalize on the approaching bull market. So please tell me what you think about this. Is the button pressed? Or will the microbrewery most likely be correct again in stating that the beer is for sale? Remember that Michael Burry's final week consisted of selling everything and deleting his Twitter account. This is the item in this location. Will this echo bubble eventually break, reach new lows, and find support at the lowest level? Or, alternatively, we may observe a modest decline, but not a significant one, followed by the stabilization of the market by neutral positions as we await Jerome Powell and the fresh rate hikes. Mention it in conversation, please. Subscribe to the channel if you appreciate this video and return for more.